Okay, we are going to talk about the uh, latest Marilyn Mosby, um, latest Freddie Gray case, Cesar Goodson. He was the driver of the uh, paddy wagon, the van, so to speak. Now, you have to understand, I've probably mentioned this before, I mentioned it again, the mentality of this situation. Now, you have these cities in America, Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore among them, that are 100% run by liberal Democrats. No Republicans and no conservative Republicans. Conservative Democrats, yeah. Conservative Democrats. None. They are run by ultra fanatical left wing lunatics. Example, Rob Emanuel. Chicago is the murder capital of the United States. He is guaranteed re election because he's a Democrat. Therefore, he does nothing to stop it. If he doesn't want to run again, the next Democrat will come in and he'll get elected. He'll get elected. Okay? So, and the Democratic Party has had a, a psychotic hatred of all black people probably since its inception. Okay? And the Democratic Party's goal is to make sure that ultra left wing fanatics have absolute control over these cities, that they can keep the blacks in poverty keep the blacks unemployed, keep the blacks in the gangs, keep the blacks, keep the black on black murder rate at, at 95%, and enter Marilyn Mosby. Marilyn Mosby was an insurance lawyer. She appeared on Judge Judy and won the case, but she didn't have some punitive damage and she got less money. And she gets the case because, she gets the job because she's a Democrat. Even her husband, who was a council member, nothing to do with it. She gets the job because she tells the Democratic Party she wants the position, and they put her on the ballot, and she wins. Okay? Republicans don't have a chance. Conservative Democrats, all three of them, don't have a chance in Baltimore. None. Okay? It is a left-wing lunatic ideology. Now, Freddie Gray was a piece of shit. He was a black man who sold drugs to black people, stole from black people, presumably, okay? He was a piece of shit. He dies in police custody, and the Democratic Party elevates him to the status of martyr. And even that piece of shit, Oprah Winfrey, compared Mike Brown to Emmett Till. Mike Brown was killed while trying to murder a police officer, Emmett Till was tortured to death because he stared too long at a white woman's ass. Okay? So it is the elevation of the martyr status. And the charge is when they investigate a murder or a manslaughter, they have to make sure every little nook and cranny is examined. Malama Mosby did not put her best investigators on the case. Some murder cases, you gotta wait six months to a year to bring the charge up because it takes that long to look over everything. You could have 500 witnesses between eyewitnesses, detectives, victims, doctors, paramedics, firemen, forensic scientists, video footage, fingerprints. You could literally have so many pieces of evidence that it takes that long to get through it all. Now some murder cases are clear cut. The, you, took, you take the butcher knife and stamp an old lady in the face. Plain and simple. But another case might be a guy was out drinking one night wearing black clothes on a moonless night. He wanders into the street, falls down, and a car runs him over and kills him. Okay? So not every wrongful death is flat out murder no person's ass. There's always things that have to be examined. Every little nook and crane. Example, we still don't know why Freddie Gray died. We still don't know why. I swear, we don't know. No one knows why. Now, if you have any doubt that Marilyn Mosby is a political pawn, she went to a Prince concert, okay? And Prince held this concert as a race pimping event. He's talking about the martyr, Mike Brown, the martyr, Freddie Gray, okay? He's obviously dead now himself, Prince, but 
and Marilyn Mosby is at the concert, but she gets up on stage. Now, defense attorneys, which Marilyn Mosby would be great at, by the way, they can be as fanatical as they want to be. Johnny Cochran, Jose Baez, because most of them work for a private law firm, and they're just absolute fanatics. But when you are a prosecutor, you represent all people. When you are a judge, you are the living embodiment of the law. The judge sits up high in the center of the courtroom because he is the law personified. And the jury, when you serve on a jury, not when you go to jury duty and sit in the fucking room and lounge. When you serve on the actual jury, on the actual case, you are required by law to excuse yourself from magazines, newspapers, television shows, personal conversations, social media, okay? You are required to excuse yourself from any and all prejudice of the case and specifically. Okay, so prosecutors, judges, and jurors, if they're at a rock concert, and the rock concert happens to mention a case they are on, they are obligated to fold their hands and shut their mouth and remain dead silent. If not, get up and leave. She went up on stage and indulged in the situation of the race pimp. Okay? Don't look at the black on black murder rate. Don't look at why blacks are in poverty. Don't look at the lack of education. Don't look at the, the, the 70 plus percent born out of wedlock. Don't look at the single mothers. Take a black criminal and elevate him to the status of martyrdom and hang six police officers, three black, three white, in the name of martyrdom. That is what this case is about. Now, most prosecutors and judges have immunity. That means if they make a mistake, will have a little foul up, they can't be charged and they can't be sued, okay? A judge or a prosecutor has to be a real animal in order to be prosecuted or disbarred or sued. Case in point, the Duke Lacrosse King. The prosecutor knew they were innocent but wanted to prosecute them anyway. And my cousin's friend was one of those guys. And the prosecutor ended up getting disbarred, spent a day in jail, and a man he put in prison for murder years earlier was released from prison. Okay, so prosecutors can face charges, but it has to be a very, very high standard. And judges too. You gotta be like this prosecutor, this judge went out of their way to break the law. That's, it's gotta be ultra bad. And they're calling for her to resign. They're calling for her to be disbarred. They're calling for her to have her, her, her uh, be, be prosecuted, be sued. Okay, so for, for, for legal professionals on TV, like lawyers, retired judges, okay, detectives, sheriffs, people that work in that field, to come on TV and say, she needs to be indicted, she needs to be disbarred, she needs to be sued, okay, okay, that's saying that she's really bad, okay. Now, what happened was, Cesar Goodson was charged with second degree murder, depraved heart homicide, different different states have different words to describe the same situation like reckless homicide depraved heart homicide they could be the same thing depending on what state you're in okay we're wording the use okay if you're driving down the highway 100 miles an hour in the wrong direction drunk and you kill somebody that could be depraved heart homicide because you didn't mean to kill him but you were so reckless that you were indifferent to human life also if you go to the overpass and start throwing rocks down, and you cause a fatal accident, okay? Well, you should have known that your action was gonna cause a horrible, horrible outcome, death or dismemberment or serious bodily injury, okay? Caesar Goodson was charged with being such a piece of shit, such a, like, I'm gonna drive this motherfucker to jail, and I'm gonna speed, and I'm gonna jam my brake, and I'm gonna swerve, and he's fucked up already, and his spine is damaged, and his neck is broke, but fuck him, I'll let him die. That's depraved heart homicide. In your mind, you're saying to yourself, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, fuck this guy. And even though on a personal level, I said Freddie Gray is a piece of shit, which he was a piece of shit, as disgusting as he is, 
he's still a human being. And even though I may say it in my head personally, if I were with Freddie Gray, I would still be required to act as a professional. Okay? So they basically said that Seizure Goodson put my thoughts into physical being, into physical reaction. Fuck this guy, let him die, he's a piece of shit, let him go. Okay? There's surveillance cameras in bad neighborhoods in case they want to catch a crime in progress, hopefully. And a surveillance camera caught Caesar Goodson making a wide turn, making a rolling stop. When you come to a stop sign, you have to stop the car, look both ways, and then proceed. Okay? Caesar Goodson went to the stop sign, slowed down to a one mile an hour crawl, and just checked and went real fast. Okay? Now, cops, I've seen cops speed when they're not responding to emergencies. I have seen cops run red lights when they're not responding to emergencies. I have seen cops make illegal U-turns. I have seen cops not yield to pedestrians when they, when they drive and make a turn, okay? They're not supposed to do that. They're only supposed to drive reckless when they're responding to an emergency. So, but let's face it. If you charge Cesar Goodson with depraved heart homicide because he made a rolling stop and a wide turn, Okay, you have to hang every single cop in the world because every cop on this earth has done something when they weren't supposed to. They ran a red light, they parked in front of a fire hydrant when they were on their day off in their civilian car and put the little pants in the window. Okay, I've, I've seen it everywhere. I've seen, I, saw, I saw a state trooper once driving on the highway real fast. He wasn't responding to an emergency. Okay, I've, I've seen emergency service providers drive while texting. Okay, I, I've seen it, okay? It, 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 they're not supposed to do it, and it's wrong. But it doesn't necessarily rise to the level of murder or the pre-torn homicide, or, okay? So, the judge had the bench trial, which means there's no jury, and the judge tries the case. The defendant wanted the judge to try the case. The defendant did not want the jury, because the jury is full of guys that are riled up and they might want to hang him for spite because there were guys saying I'm going to register to vote because I hope I get called to jury duty from that database and I want to hang this motherfucker okay so that's why the last two cops in the row said let's go with a bench trial and the judge is black and the judge was a prosecutor who prosecuted corrupt cops but when the judge takes the bench as the living embodiment of the law he is not going to do anything to negate fact he's going to be 100% precise and in the judge's case, he said, listen, you got a man here charged with murder. Where is the evidence that he committed the murder? Where is the evidence that he did something deliberately to prove beyond all reasonable doubt that the defendant died because of his gross negligence or because of his anger or animosity or indifference? Where, where is the evidence? And because the judge did not see the evidence in front of him and even chastised the prosecutor a little bit, he had to dismiss the case. Now... Remember you know my cousin Vinny? Yeah, we're going to go there. In my cousin Vinny, Joe Pesci says, I'm going to go with the prosecutor, and we're going to go hunting. And I'm going to finagle this information at him. And when he gets in the truck to drive with the hunting ground, he says, hey, you think I can look at your files? Sure. Uh, you got a fax me? No. I'll have my secretary do it. Uh, give Mr. Gambini all the files on blah, 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 print it all out for him. He comes back, hey, look, I got all the evidence against them. I got everything here. And Marissa told me, he says, you know why he gave you the files? It's called disclosure, you dickhead. He has to. Okay? The prosecutor is required by the law in any state in the country to give the defense attorney any evidence that might suggest the client is innocent. He's also required to give him any evidence he asks for, which is blood, DNA, Prints, surveillance, witnesses, uh, whatever. Okay? If the defense attorney asks for it, the prosecutor has to give it to him, no questions asked. Okay? Also, if a prosecutor knows for a fact that the defense defendant is innocent, he has to tell him that. He has to, not, uh, he has to sorry, he has to drop the charges. If you remember my cousin Vinny, when they proved it wasn't their car, and when they, the neighboring sheriff 
found the car that was used and found the revolver, the prosecutor dismissed the charges before it went to the jury. Well, that happens in real life. The prosecutor must dismiss the charges if he or she knows for a fact the defendant is innocent. Okay? They might have a guy in custody and the guy might say, yeah, I killed that victim. I, I killed that victim and I'm the one that did it and I'm also on in prison for another crime but I killed the victim. Or the DNA might show that this guy in this whatever the hell case also killed that victim and the prosecutor will be told this and the prosecutor has to drop the case. He has to. Now, there was a guy in the van with Freddie Gray, and the van is divided in the center, and there's one side here, one side here with a wall. And the, the guy said that he heard Freddie Gray banging around on purpose, jumping like an idiot, to cause himself harm so he could sue later. Now, the guys in the street, remember the movie The French Connection? Gene Hackman grabs the guy, pulls him in the bathroom, slapping him around, they're talking as friendly as can be, the guy gives him all the information he wants on the street, and then he knock and punches him in the face, makes it look good, and leaves. Well, they don't really punch him in the face that much anymore, but you get the idea, okay? The cop will pull the, 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 the informant aside, or the cop will have the informant on the phone, and the informant will tell the cop what he wants to hear, okay? But then, when the informant's name is dropped, when the informant is in front of a news camera, Yo, yo, I didn't say that shit. What the fuck, B? Yo, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay? And if you remember, this particular witness was saying, I didn't say that shit. What the fuck, man? Okay? So, what happens is, the witness, the co-arrestee, told his lawyer, Hey, man, Freddie Gray was ratting around there, banging his fucking head, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now, when you're a defense lawyer. You are not allowed to tell anyone in the world what your client did. Even if your client says, I killed the victim, you still can't tell anyone in the world. But, that does not mean that you cannot tell anyone something your client saw. So, if you're a defense attorney and your client tells you, I did something wrong, you can't say it. But, if he tells you, someone else did something wrong or I saw something that I was not involved in any shape way or form as a lawyer you are required to report that that's right so if your client tells you my wife killed our son okay you're his lawyer not the wife's you tell because the informant told his lawyer yo Freddie Gray was banging his head around on purpose now the lawyer has to tell, okay? He has to come forward and tell. And the lawyer told the prosecutor, hey, my client was arrested with Freddie Gray and he heard Freddie Gray banging his head around to cause injury on purpose. The prosecutor is required by law to tell the defense attorney that. If not, delay the trial, do further investigating, see if the injury was self-inflicted and drop the charges. They did not do that, okay? So they manipulated evidence, they withheld evidence, and they race pimped in the hopes of getting a conviction. Two guys are found not, Alexis, stop police. Two guys are found not guilty, they can never be retried. One guy had a hung jury, he can be retried, but it's unlikely now and the other three guys should be let go. Lack of evidence equals not guilty, period. That's the way it goes. If they can't prove you did it, you're not guilty, period. Thank you, bye.